Hi, I'm Christine, and did you know that you could control these lights just with your phone? We've looked a lot at these amazing WS2812 lights. I love using them in my projects. Hopefully you do too, and in my different wearables. What we're gonna look at today, we're gonna use our phone to change the colors. And then we're gonna look at the code today to see how we make a web page, what is the library that we're gonna use, and then uploading the code to our board. If you're new to my channel, I like to make creative and fun tutorials for wearable technology. Hopefully you'll join in with some of my tutorials and make technology all of your own. We're gonna go through the code. We did the hookup in a previous video, which you can find. And then all we're gonna do is have a look. I absolutely love using these lights. They bring bling to your projects. We hooked up our board earlier. We did power, ground, and D15 with the pins that we used. And then we connected them to our different lights. We did a grid and a circle one just so we could see some different effects. Talking through the code for this program, what we're gonna do is we're gonna introduce another library. We're now also using the web server library. And what this will do is it allows us to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Not all of us, just you, uh, and friends and family. So what you'll do is when we load this up and have a look at the code, it's on GitHub, down in the information below, you'll just need to edit this so that you can put your own network and password in there. These fields will be left blank for you to fill in. You'll also need to fill in the number of LEDs that you're using. So mine, I've got like this grid, which is 64. So count the number of LEDs you're using. And you'll also need to edit what is the pin number where your data in is connected to. I've connected mine to D15, that digital pin 15. So my code says 15. So that is what you will need to edit. The other super fun bit for anyone who does do a little bit of HTML or a little bit of coding, they'll want to go in and grab the code because you can edit the styling. So I have included a little style at the top so that way we can alter the color and the appearance of the web page. But you can go in and you can alter the style, you can alter the buttons. So make a change for how you want this interface to look. You don't have to use sliders, you might have number inputs. So you can really play around with the interface if that suits you and your programming style. Now that we've gone through some of the code, we know that we needed to edit things like the number of pixels and the pin number. But you'll see this section here is just showing us the forward declarations which is needed for platform IO. If you're using the Arduino IDE, just leave these in, it doesn't do any harm to your project, although they are not needed. This was the HTML section that we mentioned earlier. You can alter things like the color and how you want your HTML page to look. As we scroll through, you can see the setup and the loop function, which is what we see in all our sketches when we write for Arduino. This setup is creating the environment that we need to run the code. Here we have a few of the different things like our serial begin, and we'll need our serial monitor so we can see that important web address. That's really what we need. And then that loop will run and that will be executing the code. So when your code is altered, upload the code to your ESP32. And once it's finished uploading, we're going to be watching our serial monitor, which is where we will see the web address that we need to put into our browser on our iPhone or whatever device we're using. And that will open the web page for us. Once the code has finished uploading to our ESP32 board, we're going to open that serial monitor and grab that IP address. It'll be different for your board than for mine. Copy that address into your browser, hit return, and have a lot of fun. Share the URL with friends and family as long as they are on that network. The beauty of this code, it really takes advantage of the ESP32 with its Wi-Fi capabilities. So now we're turning it into a little bit of a powerhouse. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like and subscribe. Please leave a comment or any question below and I'll happily get back to you. Thanks for watching.